Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am known as Bad, where it's bad to be bad. And I have a very, very bad idea. Not sure if it's so rad, but my rad idea, oh my gosh, I don't know. You be the, you be the one to judge. Judge me, you guys. Judge me. Judge me. So, I have hog. Why am I holding hog? I have three books down behind this bad book. I don't like hog. And I could say this because he's a fictional character. I don't like him. He pissed me off. I only passed to page 56 and I stopped. Hog is just the most disgusting, descriptive man. I'm not even calling him man. He's a hog. I mean, I, that's how angry I am. I don't like this book because of the character. I don't like hog. Hog is just a disgusting person. That shouldn't exist, but he's a fictional, so don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. It's a book. I don't like Hawk. Something that he does in a restaurant to a female. If he did that to me, mm, right in the face. He was so disgusting in the restaurant. Just an animal behavior that I just couldn't. That's when I stopped the book, pretty much. I don't like Hawk, but I have a plan. So what am I, what am I talking about? Extreme horror. What is extreme horror? Extreme violence, extreme sex, extreme everything that you could push yourself to the limits. It just goes beyond, beyond the imagination of extreme horror. It's just so wild, so crazy. So, hmm, I did purchase a book and it's a very controversial book. There's only one booktuber that I know that has read this book and he did do a fantastic review and some spoilers so don't watch this video if you don't like some spoilers but he did help me to identify what's in this book and how bad it is i purchased this book because i'm a book collector i've been trying to collect extreme horror or extreme disturbing books that is my mission and so far it's going good i don't know if i'm ever gonna read hug and the book that i purchased is all the way from uk from who? Matt Shaw. It's a very controversial, it has to do with kids, extreme violence towards kids. Mmm, I know. I don't know if I'm going to read it, but I did purchase it and I'm going to show you guys in a little bit. So I have Womb is an, another definition of extreme horror. And I'll give you a little bit of information on that in a little bit. There's Dead Inside, another example of extreme horror. This is actually an Accursed Tour book. If you guys are interested, it is free. And he, my friend Greg from his channel, which I will link below, he has this for free. And you could get this to you mailed out and try it out if you like extreme disturbing books. So the book that I'm talking about from Matt Shaw is this one, Hub. I know. From the front cover, just alone in the back, doesn't look like it would be a very offensive book, but it is. It is. But the, the, Matt Shaw did a great job though in the front cover and the back cover. It's just really a great front cover. I mean, it just shows how disturbing these, well, not the kids, but how disturbing the situation with the kids are, it is. So, let me put this away. So a little bit of information on the hog. Hog is a novel by Samuel R. Delaney. Hog is a novel by American author. Dead Inside, Chandler Morrison. Originally published April 22, 15. Womb from Duncan, Ralston. Originally published August 6, 16. And it's about a lonely hotel holds many secrets. And it does. That hotel room number six is just horrific. Just might possesses the worst of them all. Angel knows all about pain. His mother died in that room. His research, his research, it's history. Today he comes back to end it, no matter the cost and for all. So, and there's this uh, controversial book. Many people probably will find this a very offensive. And then there's so many extreme horror lo fans, lovers that love this kind of content that do enjoy this book. Okay. They're, they're for those who can't have children of their own. That's what it says right here. 
the back. In Matt Shaw's most controversial novel to date, ha bad things happen to good children. If you find such content to be disturbing, too disturbing, this is not the book for you. So he warns you. This book is intended for those who are seeking an extreme horror story. The orphanage is known only to the wealthy. The children within are not up for adoption to those to expand their family. They are there to be taken home as pets and playthings only. New toys for the rich to use in order to fulfill their deepest, darkest desires. Whew. Triggers, self-harm, domestic violence, sexual abuse, violence to children, and torture and gore. Has a trigger warning right there. You cannot buy this book on Amazon. You cannot buy this book anywhere, only on his Etsy Matt Shaw page. It took a few weeks from all the way from UK to get to my home, to my doorstep. And now it's in my bookshelf as my collection of Distore, Extreme Extore reads. So, he does have, this is copyright 2023 by Matt Shaw. And it's actually 270 pages only. It's a quick, it's a very easy read. It has, you know, the nice print. Okay, a word from the author. And he has like a little note for everybody to read. This book is distasteful. It was written for those who want to push the, themselves with regards to what they read. The storyline here is not, to, not representative of my, my usual works. Even though the majority of other stories are within the horror genre, the characters' likes and dislikes do not align with my own, and it's a shame I have to make a point of stating that, but there are certain individuals out there who believe authors only write what they, they um, themselves enjoy. But then, these people are idiots and cannot separate back from fiction. So, that's his note. And it's, he actually signed it, which is really nice of him. Signed it right there. And it has the orphanage and then you start. So I am not going to go into extreme detail. I will have the person that has reviewed it, does spoilers, does an extreme uh, example of this book. And I will link his information below. So if you want to explore that, I will. I am not going to get into this with you guys. Um, I do want to respect my viewers. But this is only for people that, readers that don't mind extreme horror or want to push themselves to the limits. It does have a lot of warnings. I don't know if I'm going to read this. But I have the two evils. Two disturbing extreme horror books that I, this one I did not finish. And this one I'm not even sure if I'm ever going to read because it has a, to do a lot with children but i am collecting this because down the line this is signed this is a collectible maybe 30 years from now somebody's going to run into this and want to buy it for a lot more price range you never know so i have a signed book this one mm, I'm, ugh, it's all right like william says my friend william over there it's all right bad it's all right i know i know i know Am I going to read these two evil books? Is this a bad idea, not a rad idea? Can I push myself to the limits and read these books? We'll see. Can you? Do you love extreme horror and why? Would you push yourself to the limits and read something like this or like this? Let me know. Any thoughts, any comments? Let's have a conversation. Do you not like these kind of books? Do you oppose these kind of books? Do you have like, why do authors even write this kind of extreme horror? Why do readers even want to read this kind of extreme horror? Like, let's have a conversation. I'm intrigued. And we're all, we're all gonna have our opinions and I'm definitely, definitely gonna respect everybody's opinions. This is definitely not for everyone. And there is some readers that do like this kind of extreme or they just want to explore something like this. Let me know. All right. You guys enjoy the weekend. I know I'm ending the week by these disturbing reads. I know. But these are collections. These are best collections. I have many more disturbing books behind me. You guys enjoy your weekend. I'll see you guys in the next video.
拜。